Hey, my name's Yovan, and today you'll be learning my five tips on how to create quick, realistic city buildings in Blender for free, of course, because it's Blender. When I'm modeling something, I'll always start by finding reference images for what I want to create. So in this case, when I'm making buildings, I want to find really high quality pictures of buildings online or even in person. So to do this for buildings, I'll search up something like New York City facade or skyscraper front view or building street view. Or if I'm in the city, I'll look around and try and find some interestingly shaped buildings and take photos of these as references as well. Because often when looking around in real life, you'll find some really cool and interesting shapes and angles that you can add into your 3D buildings. So once I've got my collection of photos, I'll bring these into Blender by just dragging them into the viewport. They should appear here. I usually then just rotate them to be in the same axis as my buildings will be. You can even kind of create a little fake city here by putting these around and you'll be able to see what your city will look like. The second tip is to use the array modifier. This tool is your best friend when making city buildings because there's so many repeating shapes that this just allows you to make these really quickly. So what I'll do when creating a building is I'll start with a basic shape like a rectangle and align it with a building facade image. To do this, I'll go into wireframe mode or x-ray mode, which is just in the top right corner, and I'll line up the edges of my cube or rectangle to match around about what the edges of a section of the building facade would be. Then to create windows, I'll make a new shape, often a cube, and I'll just make one window, and I'll make it as accurate as I can to the window in the image, or whatever window I want to choose. Often using a reference image is great because you can find some really cool shapes, but you can mix and match from whatever you choose and even edit them as you, as you go. Then, go to the modifiers tab on your right hand side of the screen and add an array modifier. Extend this to create as many windows on one axis as you want. Then duplicate it and do the same on the opposite axis. So if you're going across the horizontal axis for one, you'll do it for the vertical for the next. Now before I apply my array modifiers, or any modifier in particular, I'll make sure that I name it and then duplicate it to have a copy just in case I want to go back and change something later on or use this version of a window or whatever asset I'm creating in a future building. You can then just hide that asset by going to the top right corner and just hiding it. Make sure you hide it in your viewport and your render view as well so that it doesn't appear in your render when you do renders later on. Once you've got a portion of your building kind of blocked out, click on the original cube shape for your building, go to the modifiers tab and select the boolean modifier. Then just cut out the windows by selecting the window and pressing apply and we'll use the array object to cut out the shape of your window in your object. Now, my third tip comes in helpful here. Always create dummy materials or just blank materials when you create a new edit to your building that is gonna need a new material later on. So what I mean by this is when you get to the end of your building and you wanna texture it, it's a bit difficult to go back and select all the individual faces that you want each different material to be on. So it's much easier as you're going to just apply a blank material onto each different face that you've got. So you'll have one for the basic texture of the building, you'll have one for the windows, you'll have one for window sills and any other details that you wanna add. Later on, you can go through and add materials to this. What I like to use for materials is a Blender add-on which is free in the Blender app called Blender Kit. So to do this, just go into the Edit tab in the top left corner of your screen, press Preferences and click Add-ons and search for Blender Kit and just tick it to enable it. Then back in your viewport, press the N key on your keyboard or the little arrow on the top right corner and it'll bring out a Tools tab where you can select Blender Kit and sign in. This gives you access to a ton of materials, textures, and a bunch of other assets which can be really helpful for your scene. A lot of them are really realistic, so you can just search for like a brick texture or a glass texture, double click on it, and it will go onto whatever material you've selected. This is a really quick way to get pretty high quality textures onto your building, and you can create a bunch of iterations later on by just duplicating your basic building and applying different materials to different buildings so that it looks like there's multiple different buildings around. If you want to select all the windows in your building to add a material onto them, go into edit mode, select one of the windows, go to the top left corner and press select, Press select similar and select similar by perimeter. This will now select all of the faces with the same perimeter in your object. You can then go to the right hand side of your screen to the materials tab, create a material called windows and press assign to assign that there. You can then later on at the end of your building's process, change a material by just going into Blender Kit, finding a window material and double clicking it to replace this window material or creating one yourself. Now, once you've got the actual building itself and you've used the array modifier on the entire building to make the correct size that you want, I like to add a bit of depth and realism into my buildings by creating a roof. Now, it sounds simple, but when you're shooting from above, if you just got a blank flat plane versus an actual bit of roof with some depth, it really increases the realism because there's a lot of shadows and stuff that can add in there that makes it look like it's a real building. Because in real life, buildings aren't just flat on top, they've got depth and they've got edges and they've got all these intricate shapes and we're trying to emulate that in these 3D models. So, what you're gonna do is select the top face of your building, click the I key to inset and bring it in a little bit, then click the E key on your keyboard to extrude and go either up or down and just do this a few times to create an interesting little shape for the roof of your building. You can create a kind of lip for a little edge over it 
and you can do whatever else you want by adding some other faces and cubes around there to kind of bring out the rooftop on your scene. So the fifth and final step is to do set dressing. Some examples of this include some decals like cracks or mosaics on the side of the building, fire escapes, extra things that might be in a building like some scaffolding, special signs, billboards, air conditioning units. You can think of as many things as you want here. You can get some of these from the Blender Kit add-on, which is free. There are some paid options as well, but there should be plenty to fill out your scene with here. If you want to create fire escapes or air conditioning units, Ian Cubit has some really quick one minute tutorials on how to create those. So I'll leave those linked in the description below for you to check them out after. And if you just populate your buildings with a few of these different assets around, it will make these buildings seem more natural because when they're plain and blank, it doesn't seem real. But when they've got a bit of life to them and a bit of these randomized assets around, it'll feel like it's really supposed to be there. So a great way to see what you might find is to go into your city or look up images of a city online and see what little hidden, like unknown random things are on buildings. There's some scaffolding on some of them. There's signs, billboards, posters, you name it. There's a bunch of stuff that you'll find that you wouldn't have even noticed if you weren't trying to look out for it. And that's it. You just learned how to create realistic buildings in Blender pretty quickly for free, obviously, because it's Blender. So then when you want to create a city scene, you can just duplicate these throughout, change the sizes, you can scale them up or down, you can duplicate them side by side and add them together, change materials on them, and you'll be able to create a pretty realistic city scene with just a handful of buildings and a few tweaks to each one of them. And as a bonus, it will look like you've done a lot more work than you have with really realistic high quality results. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw and want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, please do leave them in the comment section below. I usually make videos on Blender or Unreal Engine or virtual production or whatever's kind of interesting me at the moment, uh, but usually it's those three main topics. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time and goodbye.